I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my series of Functions Flexibility. Now functions is interesting and important topic for us. Normally we deal with multiple variables at the same time. And in this series we will learn how to write a function in terms of other functions. That's the whole idea. And from there we can apply these learnings in many different situations. This set of videos is extremely important for our high school students and especially for those who are taking calculus in future. The question here is express area of a rectangle inscribed in a circle of radius r as a function of its side length. Now so first step always is to sketch a diagram. Here is a simple circle for you and inside the circle we want to inscribe a rectangle. So let us say that's the center. So I'm making the diagram to the best of my abilities. Uh, here is my rectangle. Okay. Okay. It doesn't really match so well. But anyway, let us say this is the rectangle inscribed in a circle. So when we say inscribed, that means all the four vertices are on the circle, right? Now that is what we mean. Now we need to express area of the rectangle. Now what is the area of the rectangle? Area of the rectangle is length into width, right? So how do we write that in terms of radius of the circle? So this is the circle. Let us say that's the center. And this center should go through the diagonal of our rectangle, correct? So that is it. So now we can label it a bit, right? So we say, let this be the radius. So that will be the other side of the radius. So the diagonal length, as you can see, is equal to 2R, correct? And let us say this is length and that is width for us. So length of this rectangle and width of the rectangle. Now let's write first what is the area of rectangle. So we can say area of rectangle is equals to length into width. Now we need to write this area. It is already in terms of uh, length into width. But something special about it is that it is within a circle of radius r. Now that gives us uh, an idea that we could actually relate length and width with r using Pythagorean theorem, correct? So we can write this expression for relating these sides as L square, length square plus width square equals to the diagonal is 2r. So we'll write this as 2r square, right? Now let's read the question once again. Express area of rectangle inscribed in a circle of radius r, that is kind of important, as a function of its side length. Now, so we have to basically include the radius r in our formula. So we will uh, write this area in terms of radius and one of the lengths, not both of them. That's the whole idea. Okay. So what we can do is we can say rearrange the formula and we can say width square is equals to Let's square this, 4r square minus length square. Or width is equals to square root of 4r square minus length square. Now we'll only take the positive root since uh, dimensions are always positive, right? They're non-negative. Okay. So we get relation between w radius and l. If we know the radius, then radius is constant. Remember that, okay? So the only variable here is the length of the rectangle. That's the beauty. So we'll replace that width from here into the original formula of area. So what we get here is area equals to length times this width, which is square root of 4r square minus l square. Now, in this particular formula, you will observe one thing. That is now, 4 is a constant, r is known, it is a constant. So the only variable here is length of our rectangle, right? So we could write this formula as area. Let me write it down here now to remember. Area as a function of length, L. That means as a function of length, in terms of length, could be written as L times square root of 4r square minus L square. So that is how you can write a function which is area in terms of just one variable not two. Once you get equation like this then you can explore this and you know use it for many applications especially those where you need to maximize area right. So when you have to 
have a maximum area in terms of its dimensions inscribed in a circle this formula could help you so that is the whole idea so in a way it gives you a practice of looking into one function in terms of the other and helping to solve difficult problems which you know these could be our, your basic steps to solve those difficult questions i hope you appreciate it go through this set of videos and see how we can relate cones cylinders rectangles prisms like this right and then find or work with uh, surface areas volumes and areas and things like this i hope that helps thank you and all the best